So we've talked about the Android 16 QPR1 beta that is currently ongoing uh, several different times now. It brings a lot of really nice new changes to Android. I think that there's two really, really big ones. One is Material 3 Expressive, which I think looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks so good, it makes me want to use a Pixel device specifically to get to use a phone with this interface. I think it looks amazingly good but then you also have the desktop mode that is being tested in this beta as well so loads of people have wanted to get in on this beta however right at the same time as this was ongoing android 16 stable rolled out and i know for a fact that a lot of you updated to android 16 stable you wanted to see what that was going to be like and then you wanted to jump over to the beta and you were unable to do so. You switched over and it just did not want to install. That happened to me. And I've gotten several comments from people asking why the beta is not arriving on their device. In theory, all you have to do is go to this webpage, google.com slash android slash beta, and you can simply opt in on whatever device you want to have this beta on. As you can see, I have a couple of devices that are enrolled. My Pixel 9 Pro XL is enrolled, and I typically don't do that, but the reason that I had to this time was because I needed to cover the beta on a device that had video out, and my Pixel 9 Pro Fold was on Android 16, and it would not let me install it. Nothing was arriving. You opt in, you check for an update, there it is. Not happening. In this video, I'm gonna quickly tell you why that's happening and give you a little bit of good news. And the answer is quite brief. It comes down to your Android security update. Android 16 was dated June 5th, 2025. If we jump back over to the beta that was currently out when Android 16 dropped, it had a security patch level of May of 2025. And guess what that means? Your phone would see this update and go, that has an older security update. We're not installing that because it's a security risk. That's why you couldn't. But now, 2.1 is out, and it is a very minor update, as they say right here. There are a few things here listed, which you can read for yourself, just a couple of small bug fixes. But the most important thing is, the security patch level is now June 2025, and that will work. Now, I always have to give this PSA when we're talking about these betas, and I still end up getting asked about this like a million times over, but here is how this works. When you join a beta, you have to understand that if you want to leave that beta at some point, you are going to risk having to factory reset your phone. But there are some simple rules that will help you understand when you can leave the beta without having to wipe your device. This is all you have to keep in mind. You can always update without factory resetting, but you can never downgrade without a factory reset. Now the good news is, if you opt out and you do the update, it's going to explicitly tell you that you're going to have to wipe the device. And if you get that message and you don't wanna do that, don't click the download and install button, just wait. So what are you waiting on? Let's say you are on this QPR1 beta. You are waiting for the QPR1 stable update to come out. Once you see the news of that happening, QPR1 stable released publicly for everyone to download. Go and click the opt out button. Now you might still, you know, for a little while after that happens, you might still get a downgrade that says it's gonna wipe. Just ignore it, close it, don't let it download. But eventually you will get the stable update and you can download that update and you are fine because QPR1 stable is newer than the final beta of QPR1. If you stay in the beta track, and before QPR1 stable comes out, you see an update that says Android 16 beta QPR2, and you let that install. Now you're waiting for that stable to come out, okay? So you have to stop. If you see QPR2 beta start, and you want to get off now, don't let that install. Wait for the stable, opt out, wait for an update that doesn't say it's going to wipe, and you're going to be okay. Otherwise, if you do anything else, you're gonna have to factory reset and set up your phone again. So guys, the two things I wanted to get across to you are that one, if you are on Android 16 stable and you wanna try out the beta, you can now do that. And two, uh, how you can get off of that beta eventually when the time comes. So hopefully I have gotten that information across to you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.